real quick, we on our screen right now, we have our, our high risk warning up. And now we put this up before, before every speaker. It's not particularly uh, meant towards anybody. But if you'll notice, most of these speakers are really good about mentioning over and over again, past performance is not necessarily indicative of future success. Uh, the, the, the information that they're sharing with you is really general advice. It does not take into account your personal objectives, your personal financial situation, or your personal, your personal needs. Um, it's not to be construed as personal advice at all. The possibility exists, of course, when you invest anything or deposit funds in anything that you could lose money. So we always say we should not speculate with capital that you cannot afford to lose. If you follow those rules and you're always aware of the fact that everything that we're showing you is kind of back-tested stuff, like some of the stuff Silas may show you, maybe like, hey, this is what I've done recently. This is what's been working for me recently. He's showing you his own personal accounts or things he's seen that have worked or things that he's tested in, in his lab to, and he's showing you that it worked. So just keep in mind that everything that we're doing here is based off of that very last sentence, which is past performance is not necessarily indicative of future success. But we want you guys to learn today. Well, hopefully you guys will see some great products that you like. Everybody who comes, by the way, the last thing I'll mention is everybody that comes, by the way, at the end, they share with you one really cool product that's normally thousands of dollars that could be yours for much, 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 much cheaper. We always encourage you to try to take advantage of those offers because they are limited, but they are available to you. And they're usually amazing products. Um, the one thing I remember about Silas more than anything was the day I met him. I met him through a friend of mine named Jeanette. And Jeanette said to me, um, Jeanette actually introduced us, said, I'm going to send Silas over, let him do the thing. And she's like, you're going to love Silas. He's a great guy and his shit really works. And he's a good guy. And he, she kept going on about what a good guy he was and everything like that. So you guys are going to love Silas when he comes out here. Rod, do me a favor, go to the next slide. And let's just tell him a little bit about Silas really quick. So today, Silas is going to do a talk, and his talk is called Price Action is King, How I Cracked the Code to More Profits with a Simple Three-Step Strategy. And I know that from yesterday, we learned that most of us love simple. So you think you guys are going to love this, so really pay attention. Uh, um, Silas has over 12 years of active trading experience in equities, commodity futures, currencies, and options. He has an extensive background in executing trades for hedge funds, banks, excuse me, institutional investors and high net worth individuals on a global trading desk at the Chicago Board of Trade. So he's one of those heavy hitters I was telling you about. Uh, Simon, I'm sorry, Silas has successfully contributed to the establishment and management of multiple futures and equity brokerage firms, handling day-to-day -day operations, trading, risk management, and client support. So he's done it all. He has a proven um, expertise in private family office investment consulting, and managing fixed income and equity portfolios within trust and asset management banking units. His website, by the way, you might want to write this down, is tradestrending.com. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us again, just like you did last time, Mr. Silas Peters. Silas, how are you, buddy? Hey, John, I'm doing great. How are you? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, we can, buddy. We can hear, hear you perfectly uh, well. Hey, good morning, Good to hear your voice again. Hey, Silas, how are you doing? Good. Thanks. Thanks for having me on, guys. Appreciate it. So we appreciate coming. So the floor is yours. Okay, okay. Thank you. Let me share my screen. Uh, I think I need an upgrade, Rod. Let me. It says I've been disabled for screen sharing. Oh, let us look into that. Fix it well, right sounds, now. That sounds wrong. Let's see here. Um. It says host has disabled participant screen sharing. Hmm. It's weird. Mine says one panelist can share at a time. That is weird. Um, okay. Now it looks like I've been upgraded now. So really? All right. Yeah. Let me. Um... It was me, John. <laughs> oh, did, did you do something? I just put the button, pushed the button to say multiple hosts can share screens. Okay. <laughs> All, right, All right. Awesome. <laughs> so you guys can see my screen now? Yes, sir. We're good to go. So sorry All about right. that, guys. Yeah, no problem. Thank you again, uh, John and Rod and the team here for having me on. Uh, appreciate the nice introduction as well. I can't say everything he said was just so nice, but uh, thank you so much. Uh, I know that this has been a really jam-packed week full of good education and content. 
If everybody, uh, if you guys can let me know in the chat just real quick from the audience, uh, can you guys see my screen and can you hear me okay? Uh, I'm going to move my mic a little bit closer. Uh, if you guys can just type in the chat there, that'd be great. And then we'll get go ahead and get rolling. All right, perfect. All right, so good morning, guys. Uh, again, my name is Silas Peters from Trades Trinity. You got the intro from the team here. Uh, really good team. Always have a great time. And I know they put on a quality show. So thanks for coming in early here. Hope everybody's having a good summer so far. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I'm very excited to present this workshop today. Uh, this is my top three secrets to being on the right side of the market. And I can pretty much guarantee you that you've never seen anything like this before. We're going to have a great time. It will be highly interactive. And I cannot wait to show you something that I've been working on for almost a year now. Now, before we begin, we should first cover the risk disclaimer. We know trade is risky. There's absolutely no guarantee past performance is indicative of future results. And you must always consult with your tax or financial advisor before applying real risk capital in the markets. And so now that you understand the risk, Let's talk about what we're going to be covering today. We're going to talk about using a trading compass to know exactly what to trade and when, how to define worst case scenarios in any trade, long, short, or out, how to use AI to get the trend, and then what our good friend Kenny Rogers told us a long time ago, know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Plus, I have a couple of promises for you. My big promise is that you're going to learn to get your time back. Not only that, you will discover a totally different way to trade, a much easier, simpler way to trade. In fact, my number one goal for you is by the time you leave, you will have an easy three-step trading framework you will use every day. And my job is to make you an informed trader and investor. And I want you to be skeptical. But to give you a quick taste of what we'll be exploring together, I want to show you a handful of case studies using the power of this framework, because as they say, seeing is believing. This is XLP or consumer discretionary. You, we can see that the market is heading south right here, but our predictive modeling is suggesting a near-term bottom. And that is precisely what happened. XLP then went and ripped higher for an 8.75% gain. Same market, XLP, market now trading higher, but our predictive forecast model is suggesting a near-term top, which is exactly what happened, this time tanking down over 13% to the downside. Would you believe me if I showed you the same market yet for a third time? Here we go again. The market predicting a bottom in a severely downtrending market, but we can come in safely catch this knife and the trade rise higher for over 15% to the upside. And this system is not only for XLP. In fact, let's take a look at JP Morgan. Here we can see the market is rising, but our model is suggesting a bearish forecast looming ahead. What happens? Market makes a U-turn and trades nearly 30% to the downside. TLT. Poor bond market was getting absolutely pummeled. But what if you knew our highly predictive AI technology says not so fast? We're likely going higher and doing so on a specific date. And here is where you come in. You take a bullish position while everybody who just took the momentum trade and sold the lows are now getting a face pill. But look, you guys are here more than likely because you're looking to supplement your income. What if you could place a trade in TLT and generate an extra $4,500? How would that make an impact in your life? Type in the chat box, what would you do with an extra $4,500 this month? I want to know your why behind being here. Why you trade? Are you looking to retire early? Are you looking to take that family vacation you've always wanted? Are you in a situation where you have to now take care of a family member or loved ones? Let me see in the chat what would knowing the precise time to build a long position in netflix right here do for you how about placing a trade such as buying 100 shares or buying a batch of call options that generated over fourteen thousand dollars and took you less than five minutes to identify the trade frame the market find your entry 
and let it rip. What about this trade in crude oil? Market is moving sideways. This is an ugly chart. It's really telling me nothing. But our predictive forecast model says we are at a significant turning point. And if you followed its lead and took a long, you had an opportunity to turn one contract into over $24,000 with little drawdown. What would you do with an extra $24,000? How would that impact your life? You think if you were a trader that generated these kinds of results, your life may be a little easier. Let me tell you why I trade. I trade for one reason and one reason only, and it's freedom. I trade because my brand new software enables me to locate and execute results like this. Here we had a $22,000 move off the downturn in crude, and that is coming off of the $24,000 per contract trade to the upside. Who cares if a market is going up or down? We trade the up moves, and then we happily trade the down moves over and over again. I trade because it's the best vehicle that affords me the ability to be a better husband. When you can generate results like this, it allows me to be a better father because with that freedom, I can be present. So the question is, is this training for you? If you are sick and tired of spending countless hours researching what stock or ticker symbol to trade, this training is for you. If you're frustrated, feeling like you are deciding direction of a trade based on a coin toss, this training is for you. If you are done with being a dollar short in a day late when it comes to being profitable in the market, this training is for you. Here is my goal for you. I see your whys in the chat box, and I know what I'm going to share with you today truly has the ability to make a huge impact in your life. I want this training to be worth at least $3,000 for you. My only ask is that you treat it like you paid $3,000 to learn what I'm about to share with you. And if you stay until the end, not only will I share with you my top pick right now, but I'll share with you how you can get exclusive access to my personal and proprietary Trend Insider software that allows me to generate the results I shared with you already and throughout the presentation. So who's the guy that's been going on for the last 10 minutes? For those of you who don't know, my name is Silas Peters. I'm a veteran trader who cut my teeth at the Chicago Board of Trade. I've traded some of the biggest markets for hedge funds, banks, commodity trade advisors, but more importantly than being a trader, I'm a husband to my college sweetheart and a proud girl dad to two beautiful daughters. And trading affords me a truly blessed life where I get to live at the beach, travel, and most importantly, be present. I have had the honor of teaching thousands of traders just like yourself who've gone on to achieve some great success stories in the markets. Stories like Bruce who made some money on the stock I recommended. Merle, who sold DVA, made 650 bucks. Mark, Andrew, John, these come in all of the time. Another student who made money using the technique on TQQ. Andy, who made back his money in less than a week. Philip, Lee, James, on and on and on. How about Ernest, who is now able to fish? This is the ultimate compliment. He has taken action with what I've taught him and is now fishing. David, who said that one trade is more than paid for his membership. And then Stan, who made 100% in an option in less than two trading days. But look, my results are not typical. This is not some get-rich-quick scheme and not just effortless earnings. My results are not typical. In fact, I put in the work and I've taken action. And if you listen closely today, this is what you'll discover. You will leave this workshop with an easy three-step trading framework that you can use every day that will save you hours and hours from being glued to the charts. In fact, during this workshop, I'm going to show you exactly how I find a trade, get direction, find the entry, and get my risk to reward and place a highly profitable opportunity in the market all in under five minutes. But before I do that, let me ask you a question. How many of you have felt like this before? You start your day off feeling great. You've slept well. You made your hot cup of coffee. You woke up with the love of your life. You've made a great breakfast. She already has on your morning financial market show and the running in the background. 
and has laid out your fresh edition of the Wall Street Journal, laid out for you, ready for you to find your next golden nugget that's going to make you massive profits in the market. After breakfast, you move on to your home office. You sit down at your incredible trading workstation with your triple monitor set up with all of your different charts. And before you know it, you have 100 tabs open and you're staring at 100 stock symbols. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's next? You are left mind-blowing. You are left frustrated. Why? You're now overwhelmed. You're flying blind to the market. What is one of the reasons? Why is this happening to you over and over again? It is because of the sheer number of markets to analyze. Did you know at the end of last year, there were over 7,750 stocks listed on the New York Stock Exchange, over 4,400 stocks listed on the NASDAQ, and over 2,000 stocks listed on the Shanghai. This has not even scratched the surface of the tradable names listed on the OTC pink sheets, Canadian, German, London exchanges. Does not even include the 100-plus commodity markets, 100-plus currency markets, other liquid and illiquid REITs, MLPs, preferreds, fixed incomes, crypto spreads, and more. In fact, we're looking at over 245,000 tradable symbols. No wonder. 97% of average everyday traders and investors start off behind the eight ball. No wonder you're sitting there every day staring at the charts with glazed eyes. And no wonder at the end of the day, week, and month, you likely have little to show for your time and effort. Well, what if there was an easy button? What if you were able to filter 245,000 symbols down to five with one click of a button? Not just a random five, but five of the top markets ready and set to make a move. That's the first line of business in which we'll be covering today, to know exactly what we will be trading. If you spent 30 seconds researching every ticker of the New York Stock Exchange, the NASDAQ, the CME, LME, it would take you almost four days 19 hours and 56 minutes. I asked my programmers to do some research and let me know how long it would take to manually scan the New York Stock Exchange for stocks that fit our criteria. And I was shocked when they came back with a crazy high estimate of four days and 19 hours. Here's why. As I said before, there's over 7,750 stocks on the New York Stock Exchange alone. Toss in the Dow, NASDAQ, other exchanges, and it's pretty much impossible to have the best stock list without using technology. So what if we leaned on the power of the machines to take that four days and 19 hours and whittle it down to a few clicks of the mouse? And that we did. Who in here knows how long a bull rider has to stay on the bull to make it to the next round? Type in the chat, how many seconds... Does a bull rider have to stay on the bull to make it to the next round? Seven, eight, eight, ten, six. It's eight seconds. So you've been watching some PVR. Eight seconds, that's it. That's exactly how much time it takes me now to pick what to trade. Only eight seconds and two clicks of the mouse is all it takes for me to get the list I need to fit the criteria so I can then move to the next decision. A clear, well-defined process. But guess where most retail traders are? They are stuck in amateur bull riding mode. Every day, aimlessly scouring through Google, Yahoo Finance, listening to CNBC, hoping for some next hot stock tip, and continuing to get bucked around like this poor fella here. We don't want to ride like this. We want to be an eight-second rider, like the professionals. How can it be done? How can we do it? With technology, of course. In fact, I had a program built that eliminates me, takes me out of the equation. I've totally removed the human error side of things that spits out top-ranked trade ideas based on AI data, and it has totally changed my life, and it can change yours. Only eight seconds every day to know the stock and ticker symbol that gives you the best chance to generate profits in the market, where you get the symbol, 
you get the direction and you get the strength number ranked in order from best to worst. And it's not just for stocks because I personally love to trade futures and commodities like grains, gold, crude. So I had it built for those markets as well, where you get the same symbol, you get the direction. Is it a buy or is it a sell? And you get the strength ranked in order. And it even works in Forex. You get the ticker, you get the direction, and you get the order of best to worst ranked with a strength ID to help you see which has the potential for the strongest move. By using the power of our predictive AI forecast model, we can easily, with a glance, spot the highest opportunities for markets that are about to move. Right here, we can see that we have major turning points in this particular market using AI forecasted modeling. Now, I'm going to do a quick poll. I'm going to ask you, who here has a checklist that they abide by before entering a trade or a checklist they may use to qualify a trade? Simple answer, yes or no. Let me see in the chat, who has a checklist that they abide by before entering a trade? All right, so we're all over the board, and I get some kind of every now and then. I see, I see a kind of yes. I see some yeses and a couple of no's. Well, successful traders, businessmen, leaders all use checklists. Good checklists are precise. They are efficient, and they're to the point, and they're easy to use even in the most difficult situations. So let me tell you why you should have a checklist. Checklists. Do not try and spell out everything, but they provide reminders of only the most critical and important steps, the ones that even the most highly skilled professional using them could miss. Good checklists are above all practical. So where am I going with this? Well, as I said earlier, successful traders use a checklist, and here's mine. Your five steps to the trade should look like this. Write this down. Take a screenshot. We're going to find our top five markets. We're going to determine direction. We're going to frame that market using higher time frame analysis. What is it doing? Where has it been? Where is it headed? We're going to use that to time our entry, and then we're going to come in and manage the trade, manage the risk. So there you have it. This is my simple five-step checklist that is rinse and repeat on a daily basis. So since we've discover how to find our top five. Step two is direction. If we do not know direction, we are pretty much blind. We have no business even considering being in the market. We have to know the directional bias because with a directional bias, we are like a pilot. Imagine being a pilot. You're circling the airport in Aruba, waiting for bad weather to break so you can land. Your instruments are saying you should be able to touch down in roughly 12 minutes. The weather is very bad below you, like borderline tropical storm conditions. Your gut says leave. Turn that plane around and just leave. But as the pilot, you don't fly around weather based on your gut or instinct. You've done this thousands of times before in your simulation exercises. It's basically in your blood, ingrained in your DNA. You don't panic. You use the instruments. And trading is the same way. You have to have the best instruments to keep you from making mistakes. If you are jumping in the markets without the proper tools, the instruments, the compass, you are destined to fail. Successful traders use highly accurate, simple instruments that you can trust to help make the right decisions at the right time, regardless of the storms that you may encounter. My new trading tool is all of these things. It is my instrument cluster that tells me what to look at, what direction, and the timing of that entry. It's highly accurate, very easy to use, and it is my primary tool that pulls all the data. The same data I use to spend hours polling every single day. And you know what? It gave me back my time. And not only did it give me back my time, it also improved my trading. So here's the big question. The age-old question. This answer is what makes markets. Traders have their opinions. Bulls, 
bears, fear, greed all kick in? Would knowing what direction you should be trading a financial instrument help you? Would it give you an immediate edge or immediate leg up on where you are now? If no, or if not, it should be a no trade. You shouldn't be trading if you aren't making direction a priority before putting your money on the line. Hell, without a solid strategy for determining direction, you may as well just be flipping a coin, shaking a magic eight ball, or go ask a tarot card reader. And no offense to any tarot card palm readers here today, I'm sure you're very, very good at your craft. But what if there was an easy button? Those were ridiculous examples. We know we're not going to do any of this. In fact, I forbid you to do any of this because trading is a business and we have to take it very seriously. And as you'll learn here momentarily, you can have a crystal clear trading plan that you can take to the markets in utmost confidence every single day. That is the exact difference between successful traders that you may or may not follow and part-time retail traders who seem to always end up on the wrong side of a trade time and time again. These successful traders have an easy button for nailing market direction. And they lean on the power of technology. They're having the heavy lifting done for them, so they don't have to rely on a coin toss to figure out direction. They already know within seconds, is the stock long? Should we be going short? It's really that simple and easy. The problem most retail traders fall into is overcomplicating the process. Am I right? Type a me into the chat box if you're guilty of falling into that trap. I'm typing in a me. I'm raising my hand. Thank you for being honest. Of course, all the other people typing in me. Of course, you fall into that trap because you're human. Let's talk about what a trap looks like and how technology can protect you. Let's go through the process of how historical data can help us make sure we have direction right. In this exercise, I'll show you how to remove the human error from this critical step in the trade by removing you from the decision-making process. Here's a daily chart of Johnson & Johnson. If you look at the past two weeks on this chart, you can see that it has dropped and it has dropped hard. But you're considering taking a short position. Well, what if you knew March is the most bullish month of the year for Johnson & Johnson in a 12-month period? And not only that, historically, it's also realized an average of 7.9% historically over the next 60 days. And not only that, you also know that j, &J has been positive 71% of the time with an average gain of 9.46% over the last 20 years. But Silas, stock is in beatdown mode. Your gut is saying jump into the short side because you believe it will continue lower. So do you short it? Do you buy it? Or would you just sit out? Let me see where everybody's at. Go to the chat box, type a B for buy, an S for sell, or an O for out. Okay, O's, O's, B, S, with all of the historical facts I just gave you, remember, Johnson & Johnson has been positive 71% of the time with an average gain of 9.5% over the last 20 years during this time frame. Some of you would still be considering a short. I would not. I would be a buyer. And here's my process. Based on the data I have in front of me, I will immediately eliminate sell. Because the facts are the facts. And as a trader who has relied on historical data to make market predictions that have paid me and my readers year after year after year, I have to go with what history says. And it says that I can be long, I can be out, but getting short is not an option on this trade. So let's look at what should happen. This is a chart from my new software, Trend Insider. It shows me the history with one click. Why in the world would you be shorting right here? The markets are telling us we could be setting up for a beautiful long entry right here with low risk and high reward. 
because of what the data is telling us, the data I just shared with you. And these are the types of trades I look for every day. These are the types of trades we all look for. Because what I just shared with you gives you an edge. The data, the chart totally removes my bias, my gut, because the law of averages are clearly pointing to the upside. So do you see how we're methodically heading down our checklist? There's nothing complicated about this. Up to this point, you see how using a checklist can potentially make you a profitable trader. We found our market. We have determined directional bias. Now we need to frame this market to help time our entry. Timing entry. Timing is critical for any trader if you want favorable risk to reward. So let's talk about how you could do it. Because as I said earlier, proper timing is key to ensure your trade has a favorable risk to reward scenario. So let's break this concept down a little further. We need to start by framing the market. I'm not talking about picture frames. I'm talking about framing the market by looking at the market through a bigger picture lens. What does this mean? It means we need to start with the higher time frame because the higher time frames govern the lower time frames. They hold more weight. So take a moment to write that down. Start with the higher time frames. Let's take a look at this chart of Lululemon, a monthly chart of Lulu. We begin by framing the market. We do this by marking out our supply and demand zones, support or resistance from the history of the chart. We have monthly supply. We have monthly demand, monthly demand. Where has price turned? Where has it changed trend? Next, we go to the weekly chart where we want to find our zones on the weekly that fall inside of the monthly. We have weekly supply. We have weekly supply, weekly demand, and weekly demand. And we can go a step further and mark out our daily that, you guessed it, fall into the weekly and monthly. We have weekly supply. We have weekly supply. We are, excuse me, daily and daily demand and daily demand. By buying at these demand zones and selling at these supply zones, we are looking to buy or sell and gearing up for trades that are ensuring favorable risk to reward. How? because we're always buying at discount and selling at premium. Think about it this way. When you go buy new shoes or clothes like Lululemon, for example, you want to buy at cheap prices. You want to buy at discounted prices. What about with selling your car or a baseball car? You want to sell high, command a high price, which is also known as a premium. You must treat your buying and selling in the markets the same exact way. We want to buy stocks on discount, liquidate or sell short at high prices or premium. You've heard of buy low, sell high, right? Well, that's the concept. So let me put this into a non-market perspective. Take a look at this Sam's Club bottle of water. The cost, 75 cents. Take a look at this bottle of water made by Voss. The cost, $7.49, a 90% premium to the Sam's Club bottle. Sam's Club is at a discount while Voss is at a premium. So putting this back into a trading or market perspective, just like when buying water or selling water, we want to do the same in the market, the simple principles of supply and demand. So let's recap this. When we frame the market, we are identifying our battlefield or our playground. We know with a glance that we're always buying at discount or selling at premium. Demand or support equals a bullish stance. We want to be buyers, open up long positions. Supply or resistance is a bearish stance. We want to be short. We want to open up sales. We're bearish on the market, expecting to go down. So take a screenshot of this slide if you wish, because it's a very important concept. Brings us back to our checklist. Who here is finding this helpful? A simple five-step framework to making educated and informed decisions. We are locating our top markets, determining the direction. We're framing that market to time our entry. Now we need to discuss our risk, our trade management plan. Before you approach any trade, before we get too excited about the actual entry, we must ask ourselves, 
What is our risk on the trade? What happens when we are wrong? Because as you know, there are times we will be wrong. In fact, you should always approach any trade as if you're going to be wrong. And here's how I do it. You should write this down. When I'm looking at risk, I don't look at it as a dollar amount. I look at it as a percentage of my account. And every time I'm prepping for a trade and trying to figure out how much money I could make, I look at it as a percent. And it better be higher than my risk. You have to ask yourself this before every new position. Can you afford the trade? Let me show you an example of what I mean. Let's take a $10,000 hypothetical account example. Let's say my account balance is 10,000 bucks. My risk per trade is 5% or $500. And I'm going to buy 100 shares. And I'm going to use a $3 stop. So if I'm risking $3 or $300 on this example, but my max risk per trade is $500, last time I checked by Alabama math standards is that $300 is less than $500. We can take the trade. The bottom line is this. If, if you cannot afford the trade, the trade is too risky. Move on. Plenty of other opportunities out there. So it's absolutely essential to know your number. What is your risk number? So let's talk about what bad risk to reward looks like. What would you consider a good win rate is? Type in the chat box, what win rate would make you believe that a trade could make you profitable? Let me see in the chat box. Is it 90, 80, 100, 50, 30? Let me see. One hundred percent is always good. <laughs> 70, 60, 80, 70. OK, thank you. What about 80 percent? Sounds great on paper, right? Let's talk about it. This example, the win rate is 80 percent. Sounds amazing. Every trader would kill for an 80 percent win rate. But let's look at the true numbers. Let's look at the true money. You made money on trades. One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, and 10. But you lost on trades five and seven. You made $100 eight times out of 10. You lost 500 on two trades out of 10. Those two losing days took you net negative because you lost five times the amount you were making on the other days. That is a recipe for disaster in the stats proven. Let's look at another one. This one, 30%. I guarantee you, if I told you I had a 30% winning trade system, you would leave and you'd go run off and chase the next shiny object. Looks like a pretty lousy system. You had losses on trades one, two, four, five, six, seven, and nine, but you won on trades three, eight, and 10. Guess what? You actually came out with a net gain. You made money. Why? Because you had a favorable risk to reward. Let's look at one more. Right here, mid-expectation, 60% win rate. Not 30, not 80, 60%. You lost on trades 2, 4, 5, and 7. You won on trades 1, 3, 6, 8, 9, and 10. Win rate was 60%, but you came out with an 8% gain because you had favorable risk to reward. And let me tell you guys, a 60% win rate with a simple 2 to 1 reward versus risk is very achievable. And this is how you stay in the game. Let's look at a real market case study. Let's say that we were looking to enter right here. Right here. Why? Because it's clearly what the data is telling us. It tells us that the market should go higher. Let's say we frame the market. We've determined a high probability, low risk entry point. But does the trade meet our risk to reward criteria? If I'm entering here, Let's say that the stock was a hundred bucks and let's say that I'm going to risk 5% or $5. But our software is telling us that over the last 10 years, we've made a little over a 10% move. So I'm expecting a 10% move or a $10 move. That is a two to one reward versus risk. All things else considered, I trust the process and I take the trade and confidence. Now, up to this point, we've covered a lot. 
And I suspect the reason you're here and the reason you're listening to me today is because perhaps you're sick and tired of being at the right place, but at the wrong time. Or maybe worse, you ended up at the wrong place and the wrong time. Could you benefit from a trading compass? Could you benefit from knowing what market to trade, what direction to trade in, how to time your entry and manage your risk? Do you see how you can benefit from the power of using a checklist? Do you see how you can benefit from using the power of technology? Are you starting to see why we should all be reaching out and smashing the easy button? If you knew the exact days of the week, days of the month, exact time of the year where there is likely an extreme high probability of a significant turning point in a market, the average performance of that market and the average risk or drawdown that could occur, it's physically impossible to do this by hand. And why would you want to? When you can take the equivalent of an eight-second bull ride to find the highest probability turning points in any market. You have to trust the data because the data does not lie. History does not lie, just like in this forecast here. Or in this forecast here, you have years and years of fundamental data telling you in full color display of the most significant tops and bottoms across hundreds of markets. You continue to stack the odds on your side over and over again by having the knowledge most traders dream of. Not only knowing the trade day of week or trade day of month, but also knowing the best months to be positioned, the performance expectations. You simply cannot make this up. Volatility, an option trader's dream, how volatile a market is or can be. High vol, we're selling options. Low vol, we're buying options. Giving you all of the data you need to make data-driven decisions at your fingertips with the click of a mouse button. So let's recap what we've learned so far. So far, we have learned what to trade, how to determine direction, how to time our entry, and how to manage our trade using a proper risk to reward structure. Now, let's put this all back together. What if you could do all of this in five minutes or less? What if your typical trade day was more like this? You pour your cup of joe, you enjoy breakfast with your family because you just banked $4,500 on a long CLT trade. Now, you can continue to wash dishes by hand, wash your clothes by hand, manually scour through thousands of tickers, or search through hundreds of websites for the so-called latest hot stock tip. But why would you? Why would you when you can reach out and hit the easy button? In fact, speaking of easy buttons, would it be okay if I pull up the software itself? I want to show you how little time this process takes. So I'm going to pull up the software. Can you guys see the software? Let me know real quick in the chat. All right, so let's do, let's do this. Let's go pull up a timer and let's just do five minutes and I'm going to hit start. So we pull up our scanner. Our AI scanner gives us the top five picks ranked in order. I'm going to go down to BJ's, number four here. Long direction, strength ID is 68%. I'm going to do a drop down analysis. I can see our equity line investing long in BJ's in June has an upward sloping curve. It's what we want to see, right? Average performance has been 6.77%. Average volatility, percent success, 100% success rate. Max drawdown, 8.7%. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's actually break it down through chart analysis. Let's go to our charts. AI is signaling a buy. Let's go to a weekly chart. Let's take the rectangle tool here. Let's start mapping out our levels. We have a, guess what? a fresh weekly demand level right here. Okay, so then we are coming down to fresh and untested weekly demand. We go to the lower time frames and we wait for entry confirmation. Everything looks pretty good so far. Low risk, high reward opportunity. Let's take it a step further and 
let's go to the seasonality. Now, we can choose through many data sets. This market only goes back to 18, maybe not the best example, but we've got markets that go back 10, 20, 30, 40, even 60 years plus. I like to show 10 years, 20 years, and all years. Again, in this example, we only go back four. We can see the seasonal forecast projections, seasonality, detrend of seasonality, percent of positive months, average monthly performance, volatility, and more. So there you have it. There is the five-step process. Where are we at on time? We've done this in less than two minutes. That is the five-step process. You've seen how this is done in less than five minutes by leaning on the power of technology. So I'm going to ask you again, do you see how using a checklist can help you find better trades in less time to potentially make you a profitable trader? Enter yes or no. Your five steps to the trade looks like this. You're finding your top five, determining direction, you're framing the market to time your entry, and then you're managing your trade, managing your risk. Now, here is how you can find more trades like these. I want to share with you how to find trades like this every single day, and that is why I'm extremely pleased to introduce the Trend Insider. I have just demonstrated in real time how anyone with a computer and internet connection can locate winning trades in less than five minutes. And I want you to be able to do this starting now. I'm going to give you access to the new Trend Insider market scanner and dashboard that gives you access to the Algo Range Screener, Best Trends Analyzer, and the Predictive Forecast Modeling Suite and Interactive Charting. Everything that gives you the easy button inside the market, the total value of this is $19.95. I want you to imagine when you log into your Trend Insider hub and locate trade opportunities such as this in Walmart. Here's our forecast model. Walmart was getting slammed, hammered, but our system is predicting a bullish forecast. Walmart rallies 17.5% to the upside. Back to Walmart. Everybody late to the party is jumping on board. Kramer's making recommendations to buy. The breakout artists are buying. But we aren't. Why? Because Trend Insider is forecasting a major top looming ahead. And guess what? Walmart makes that top and tanks 24% in a matter of days. We literally just rode this trade to the upside, cashed out, and then immediately were able to take advantage of the move to the downside, while all the people that were buying at premium prices were left holding the bag. iShares emerging markets. At this point, EEM is down over 30% for the year. Your trading colleagues would say you're insane to buy this market, but we can confidently consider bullish positions because we trust the scanner, the data, the entire process. And this is what happens. EM rallies 23.5% to the upside. As part of this package, I also want to share with you my top five weekly alert picks, a $2,497 value. We start off every Monday morning with my top five weekly AI picks for the week, including chart analysis, breakdown for stocks, commodities. And remember, these are the highest rated software based picks based on the AI and seasonal price cycle data. And not only that, I'm also going to give you my seven day playbook, which is a complete breakdown of my top down approach and analysis that gets you placing your first trade in seven days. You're also going to get my trade entry checklist, which will become your go-to daily blueprint that you can keep on your trading desk for quick reference. Our complete strategy in a nice condensed format springs a total value to over $5,100. The scanner, the dashboard, top five weekly alert picks in my seven-day playbook, trade entry checklist alone will help you find and capitalize on trades like this in FedEx. How would you know to get long on FedEx right here? because Trend Insider is telling us we should go on. What about Renato Realty, VNO? Trend Insider, predicting a major turning point. Rallies 22.7% in nine days. Dollar General, locating a short here, a predictive top in Dollar General that trades 11% to the downside. By utilizing the Trend Insider, the top five checklist, eight weeks of live market analysis, my playbook, plus all the other resources I'm including, you can swing trading confidence. 
You could have with confidence with the broad market indices such as the S&P spiraling in a downturn last year alone, done a quick 20-year analysis on the S&P. Why a 20-year analysis on the S&P? Because it's one of the largest and most liquid markets in the world and is a benchmark for the global marketplace, but was getting pummeled. The Trend Insider predictive forecast model using the last 20 years of data, as you can clearly see, forecasted major tops, major bottoms. This is why we don't care what the experts on TV are saying. The market was in a serious downtrend. Everybody remembers, well, let's take a look at what happened at these points in the market as they played out. Imagine being able to take back your retirement accounts, your IRA, your 401k, by having the data tell you when you should be essentially moving to cash or double dipping and going short. You are shaving years of lost opportunity from the negative impact bear markets can do to long only accounts. And I can guarantee you a lot of you have long only accounts. Now, I've shown multiple examples of how any swing trader can play these moves. How can you use the software for day trading? Well, what if you knew where those significant tops and bottoms were in any market? Don't you think you can use that data for your daily directional bias? And by knowing the trade day of week, the day of month performance expectancy, this is real data that you can use in real markets. These are five turning points here, five opportunities that equates to almost $80,000 on a single contract. This is one market, guys. One market, the data and the chart speak for itself. How about this year? 2023, just in the past couple of months, again, in the middle of a banking crisis, we were able to come in and confidently step in with long positions with tight risk and high reward. In fact, I got long and I got aggressively long. If all this did was prevent you from jumping into the market at the wrong time, placing losing trades, and actually taught you what to buy, what to sell, when to enter in the market at the right time, if all this did was afford you the ability to make highly accurate decisions about the trend, what market to trade, where to enter, would it be worth the investment? Would it be worth the investment to locate, analyze, and execute setups like this in crude? Only one turning point in a single market can change your lifestyle. How about this in 30-year bonds? Predicts a near-term top on Jan 31. The market moved a five full points or five handles, $5,000 a contract for the downside. Equity and equity option traders sold TLT or bought TLT put options. You can see why this is worth every penny at $5,186. The scanner alone is sold for $19.95, but I'm giving a VIP workshop credit today of $1,000. I'm also giving an additional Summer Market Summit credit of $985. So for the first 25 members, you can get started today for $9.95. Let's recap everything that you get. You're going to get access to the Trend Insider for 30 days my top five weekly alert picks, seven-day playbook, and my trade entry checklist. You can get started today for $9.95. The offer is tradestrading.com forward slash max. We are limiting this to the first 25. Why? Because you will have the opportunity to get a personal onboarding call with my customer support team. You can also call 502-383-1182 and either place the order of the phone or ask additional questions. You can skip the line and go to the URL now, or you can call in. My team and I want to ensure that you hit the ground running with the Trend Insider. That is why we limit this to 25 spots at a time. So here is the offer, guys. Tradestrading.com forward slash max. And so now that I've shown you I'm serious about your success, here is the complete offer, and I'm going to answer some of your questions. So give me one second here. I've got a couple minutes. I know we started late, but I'm going to try to get them back on track. So let me answer some of your questions. Um, I'm going to go back to the software as well. Somebody asked, can you sort by uh, 10 or 20? Yes, you can. So our algo rank, if we go back to the algo rank, you have the 
uh, ability to search 5, 10, 25, 50 at a time. And we have over 4,000 instruments. You can short by long or short. You can uh, short by U.S. stocks, micro, small, mid, large, foreign stocks, indices, ETFs, commodities, FX, crypto, and more. Uh, markets that we cover, we've got all of the major indices, all the major futures markets, uh, indices, rates, energies, metals, currencies, softs, meats, and grains, all of the major Forex pairs, sector ETFs, global ETFs, and more. Our AI scanner updates every single day. Our best trends or our seasonal scanner updates once a week. There is no data feed. There is no data feed. All of the data is included for all of the markets. Stocks, ETFs, futures, and Forex, there's no data feed. Uh, what do you get? Uh, this is the complete package right here. So every Monday, I'm posting the top five weekly alert picks with a chart breakdown and analysis for uh, stocks and commodities, my seven-day playbook and trade entry checklist. Hey, hey Silas. Yes. I, I, I hear you I hear you're rushing. Please don't rush. There seems to be a lot of interest in this. Answer everybody's questions. To take your time, please. Okay. So I'm just trying to get you back on track. No, no. I, I know what you're doing, and I appreciate it. If we're a couple minutes behind, we'll, we'll, we'll find the It'll, it'll catch up eventually. Just answer the questions. This is a great deal. I want everyone to understand it. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Um, no problem. So, it, yes, if you trade SPY or, or just SPY or SPX uh, or futures for that matter, absolutely. Uh, you simply don't look at the stock data. But um, let me go back into the chart here. So the way we use this for, um, say, SPY or intraday is you can go down into the trade day of the week and this will give you the opportune times to buy or sell a particular market. You can see the strength or weakness of that particular day. Uh, the day of month is what I really like and I use this uh, primarily for options trading. So if I have, if I am bullish a particular market and um, I, we expecting the, the, that market to go higher, I'm entering on these down days. Why would I enter on the down days? Because I'm buying at better prices. I'm buying at cheaper prices. And if, I, if I'm if i an options trader, I, I prefer credit spreads. I can buy, I mean, I can uh, sell, imply volatility here, or I can buy cheap put options if I'm expecting the market to go higher. So we have a complete uh, day of month breakdown. You can save these to your desktop. Um, the way, again, to, to like break this down, oh, I should show you, we also have a dark mode. Uh, I'm pretty pretty proud of the dark mode here. We have a dark mode. We have a light mode. Um, but going back to this example, the way we would use this to trade options is if you think about, where, again, it's the buy low, sell high concept, buy discount, sell at premium concept. We take just a simple FIB tool. We can do that. And we're buying at a 618 or 786 retracement here. And if you're an options trader, this is the ideal way to trade options um, or stocks for that matter. But we know that if the market is heading lower, what is what are put options doing? Put options are increasing. So this is favorable. Put options are increasing. That fear premium is coming in. I'm, we're selling at inflated premium. If the market is coming down, what is happening to call option, call option premium? Call option premium is, is going lower. So we can buy cheap options with the expectations the market is going higher. And so we, we cover all these things. Um, you do not need to download the software. It's cloud-based. You can load it on your desktop, laptop, uh, tablet, um, run it on both. Uh, thank you, uh, Michael, Julio, Marion, uh, Horace, Everett, Vivian, Sheldon, you guys are in. Um, does it work without special downloads or special software? Yes, Oliver, it is absolutely cloud-based. You're going to get a login and you're going to be off to the race. So Henny, yes, you can use it immediately. Um, let's see. I got a couple more markets. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. 
what is oh we post the top five picks in the telegram room telegram is a, kind of like a best way i know is to compare, compare it like a uh instant messaging you can add it on your desktop or your phone uh what markets are included we have over four thousand markets stocks indices commodities currencies etfs and more uh no data feed yep um are these live trades? I'm not real sure what you're talking about. These are, we're looking at live markets every single day. Yes. Uh, we do have a lifetime option. How and when do I get my onboarding call? Our team will reach out to you. Our team will reach out to you and set up an onboarding call. Obviously, if you don't want to partake, you don't have to, but that is going to give you your best chance of success to make sure that we can answer all of your questions. Uh, yes, 995, that is serious. Uh, Bill, yeah, you can cancel. Just eat, just reach out to our team support at tradestrading.com. Yes, you can use any option strategies you wish. All right, guys, I, there are more questions. If you have any other questions, Email uh, support at tradestrainy.com or you can call 502-383-1182. I do want to be respectful of the next uh, speakers and uh, the summit. So thanks again, John and Rod and the whole team. This has been a, a really fun time. I love this stuff. And uh, I really, really appreciate you having me on and hope to be back in the future. So good luck, guys. Take care and we'll see you uh, in the markets.